Hey, what's up, Asuna? Good to see you again, man. How are you? Gather. You know, I feel really weird. Like, I'm excited for Farina, but at the same time, I'm not excited. Like, some part of me is, like, anxious about Farina. Because... I really feel like I don't have the right uh, characters to team up properly with Farina. Or at least like if I do, like it'll be like re a really like, I don't know, copium kind of team compared to like some of the better characters that could be paired with her. Bad news, I forgot to redeem coast. What? You forgot? Oh, no. Man. I'm so sorry to hear that. How did that happen? Were you busy or something? How can I get you? <laughs> uh, didn't you save any primos, you know, from previous patches? Or did you actually, like, wish recently, I don't know, for somebody like uh, Risley or maybe Nevillet? You know, I feel really... Um, uh, like, I, I'm thinking about, like, every time I think about Farina's kit, I can't help but think but that it feels kind of just okay. Like, it's not, it's not bad, it's actually pretty good. 
uh, it opens up like a whole. I don't know. Like it's, it's like the the other side of Bennett, right? Like in, in a way that Bennett makes a lot of attack percent substats and substats, main stats, and like basically any other like buffs slash uh, skills, anything that gives like attack or attack percent. It reduces the value of that. Farina kind of does the same thing for damage percent. Granted that you're actually able to, you know, like take full advantage of her ability. Of her ability to, you know, buff, uh, give you an atta a damage percent buff based on how much you augment your HP. I only have enough for one five star. Also, it's my 50 50. Well, I mean, you're still gonna get primos, you know, from the events and stuff, right? So, yeah, who knows? Although, typically, my advice is expect the worst. And that way, if something good does happen, then you'll just be, you know, you'll just be pleasantly surprised. Rather than expecting the best, then, you know, <laughs> if the worst does happen, you end up just being disappointed. Bit busy now. Oh, all right. Hey, sure. Appreciate you stopping by, man. A walk would be nice. Hey, what's up, Taz? How are you? Good to see you again, man. You know, I hate it that they don't include bounties in the... In, in like, this thing. What is this called? Encounter point stage rewards. He's like, I actually have to go do one of my dailies. I was so happy. Like, I, I actually really like that the whole like new uh, daily system mechanic and now I'm I like I guess I'm a little spoiled by it I'm excited for the 4.2 arc conquest oh yeah me too man me too any I'm actually looking forward to Farina's um, uh, redemption arc Right, because like ever since she's she's been showcased or shown or appeared in the Archon quests in game, I don't know. I just don't like her. <laughs> she's weird. But I know she. They didn't make her like that just to be hated, right? They made her that way so that we could like her even more later. What the? The guy just disappeared. Oh, you know what? Th I just realized. This is gonna be one of those... One of those enemies that's gonna be... Uh, another enemy that's gonna be really annoying. For uh, somebody like Eula. Is there like another... Thing of this? I know I've done this already once but I'm just 
I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, what is there another one? Like, if you do it again? Or is it, like, at midnight, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. No. Well, I guess the painting does show... Sunset or sunrise. Like, where is east? Hang on. East is that way. Okay, so that's sunset. Okay. How much time we have left? Uh, let me think. Hang on. It would be... The 24... 20, uh, 28? Yes. No. 29. 29 hours from now. Yeah. Around 29 hours from now, the uh, maintenance break is going to happen. We won't be able to log in for a couple of hours. Then when we log in, open up the mail and boom. 300 Primo Gems. And not just 300 Primo Gems, but hey, 4.2, all the stuff, Archon quests, whatever, right? I'm actually gonna save, uh, I'm gonna hold on to as many um, condensed resin as I can. Just because uh, I, I don't know what, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna need. Oh, you know what? Hang on. What day is this thing? Um... Tuesday. Oh, uh, that's gonna be tomorrow. Oh, okay. I, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I got time for that, I guess. Was... I've almost 250 for her. 20, 250 wishes. Ready for the constellation? Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow, can't believe man. Um, I heard that she's got some pretty good early constellations. That's all I know, though. I don't know what they do, but I just hear people talk about like how good her some of her early constellations are gonna be. Like not like super good, but like good. Hmm. Nah. You know, I'm really regretting not going for C1 Yelan on my other two accounts. Solidify. Like, it's certainly not one of those really necessary constellations. But it just makes it so much more convenient, you know, to get her burst back on cooldown. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I just heard she's really good at C2. That's all I know. Ah, C2. Yeah, I, I hear... I, I heard uh, a few people say that her C2 is pretty good too. But uh, again, yeah. I also don't know anything. So, do we get 4.2 now? No, not yet, man. Not yet. 20, 29 hours from now. Yeah. Also... Guys, do your pre-installation thing now. It's available already. Uh, I don't know if did they announce it? Like, I don't, I don't think I noticed it in the notices, or maybe I just didn't notice it. I didn't notice the notice. <laughs> That's awful. I'm sorry. If I'm sorry if I damaged some of your ears saying that joke.
Here's the other guy. Oh no. Okay, it's this guy. Yeah, I was lucky. I qu accidentally been pulled and got her C1. Wait, who are we talking about here? Oh, Yelan. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. Also, who are you talking about when you said, uh, when you were talking about the C2? Were you talking about Yelan or Farina? <laughs> I, I, I get the feeling that we're really disconnected here, man. We, we're, we're having, we're trying to talk to each other, but we're, we're having two very different conversations going on. Farina, oh, okay. So, but the C1 thing, you're talking about Elon, of course, right? You're going to be for Farina? Of course, man. Of course. I mean, this is gonna be... I don't, I like, I, okay. Again, go, talking, uh, thinking about Farina's kit, just taking it from what what limited information that we got from, you know, the special program. Her kit seems really conditional. You know, like, um, she herself is part of that condition. But that condition also makes you very vulnerable. And... If you really want to, uh, I guess, maximize that can like, you know, the benefit that you could get out of her, then you're going to have to meet a couple of conditions. And by that, you're going to have to like switch up a few things like switching like one or two characters, uh, switching one or two characters, uh, and then make maybe even changing their builds or if not their builds and like somebody else on your team's build. So that's why, like, part of me is, like, really excited because, like, I'm finally gonna, you know, pull for the art for the, f is gonna be the first Archon that I actually, you know, that I don't skip on their release banner. And then, like, she just so happens to be the first Archon who isn't just, you know, straight up broken. You on Yelan. Oh, cool, cool. Thinking about... Going for C1 Farina and saving for Raiden or Ganyu. Do you already have Raiden or Ganyu, or is that going to be the first Raiden or Ganyu that you have? Your verdict is decided. Gather! Weak! Pathetic! Quiet now! Things up! From Silva! Illusion power productions! No! I missed! <laughs> I missed. Well, I, I didn't miss because she dodged. I missed. Missed? <laughs> I missed because I was impatient. Unfortunate. I knew she was gonna teleport uh, before I got there. But I still went ahead and did my E. Yeah, well. Hey, it's not the end of the world, I guess. My first. I've been watching your gameplay and Ganyu looks pretty nice. I mean, well, I hope that you haven't been <laughs> watching my main account, Ganyu, uh, gameplay. And, uh, because it might be a little misleading. Like, cause yeah, it might be a little misleading, you know. Like when I when I press E and then I just like boom and then charge attack. Um, yeah, I hope you understand that. But um, what I really like about Ganyu is she's just she's really comfortable in the overworld. Uh, she's really comfortable in the overworld, right? Cause like um. Okay, uh, and I found it especially 
apparent in like when Sumeru came out. Because in Sumeru, hang on, I'm trying. I'm trying to think here. So the like a lot of the fungi, right? Like if you attack them with electro or pyro, they give you like different drops. And I didn't want that. I didn't want to get different drops. I just wanted their normal drops. So, so cryo. Sure, I could have gone with like a geo team. It could have gone with an animo team. Number one, I don't have an animo DPS, and uh, number two, I don't even have artifacts for them. And uh, another one, uh, number three is okay. What else? I don't have proper geo DPSs. So that's you know <laughs> those are out of the question uh what else um hang on cryo am i am i dumb what what are all the other elements <laughs> i'm sorry hang on yeah animal dendro okay sure dendro but a lot of them have like high dendro resistance <laughs> And just Ganyu, like overworld, right? Like say Ganyu and Kazuha. Okay, Ganyu has AOE. You have Kazuha. You press E. You put Cryo on one of them. I've you go towards it. Same as I remember. You go towards it. Hold E. And then you're done. Okay, memory. sure. I could have gone with Hydro. But then like, okay, who's a really comfortable like Hydro DPS for like the overworld? Maybe if I had Ayato? kind of but he's not really like that strong um but then like after your skill is over and there's still some enemies left i'm gonna have to wait for my cooldown which is all right it's fine sure uh and he also has really good aoe but then with ganyu i could just keep going like doesn't you know <laughs> as long as i got my shield on same as i remember Right. Plus the fact that I I only need Ganyu and that's it. Like I don't need anybody else. I just need Kazuha to VV and like buff Ganyu, and then that's it. I don't need Freeze as long as I got my shielder, which means I can have um, Kazuha, and I don't know where Sayu is. She's really low level, um, and Sayu on my team, which gives me animal resonance, which helps me. You know, like run faster, consume less stamina. You know, just normal overworld stuff. Overworld stuff, running around doing uh, world quests, Arkham quests, etc. It just because, Where let's say, like next? even when doing dailies, I feel like running around takes up more of your time than the actual fights, right? So I'd rather, I'd rather run to where I need to go five seconds faster then kill the enemies where I need to go two seconds faster. Plus, all the, like, you know, a lot of the daily commissions don't even involve fights, right? So I don't need my strongest teams in the overworld. And Ganyu has AoE covered. She's not skill or burst dependent. And she, again, against the fungi enemies, she doesn't make the fungi enemies drop weird drops. So it was, like, especially apparent to me in Sumeru. Uh, here in Fontaine, well, some of them are in, in near the water. <laughs> some of them are literally water. So basically free freeze. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Oops. Okay. Yeah, anyway, uh, what's up, Dandelion Rain? Sorry, man. I was rambling a little bit. I didn't want to uh, cut off my ramble. But, okay, hang on. Not sure uh, I should pull for Farina since I don't have a team wide healer, but I have C0 and Novillet. What do you say? I'd say that's okay. Yeah, Novillet, like, okay. Mm. I, 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 I took time to, like, study Novillet's kit. But then, like, because I don't have them, I never really use them. Because, <laughs> like, I don't have them. I sort of just forgot most of his kit. All I know is that you press E, you hold left mouse button, and then, like, you just, you could let go. 
and like what well, you know just basically like do this with your mouse against all the enemies and then he starts damaging like redu like draining his own hp but then the next time you hold e again do a charge attack you heal yourself up for free and that's it that's kind of all i remember but then like some people keep talking about like stacks which is like i don't remember i don't remember like a stacking mechanic among amongst his kit and i heard that I heard like a few people talk about the fact that like Farina might make it so that like he can't get. I, I heard this once. Like I, I heard other people say like oh like Novelet kind of gets nerfed with Farina. I mean like maybe not nerfed but like he doesn't work perfectly with Farina. Works well but not perfectly. And then like I heard this one guy say that Novelet can't get three stacks with Farina. Like I don't know what that means. I mean, I could go look at look at his kit right now, but I'm kind of, you know, doing dailies. Or, sorry, weeklies. So, I guess I'll take a look at it in a moment. But, um, I think Nivellet works... Like, just the fact that he can manipulate his own HP himself, and he can heal himself, no problem. Like, his own HP drain... Like, okay, he has his own HP drain. He also heals his own HP drain. Now... That works really well. Uh, your, your problem there would be, like, basically the rest of your team. <laughs> like, for example, if you run for Nevilla with a shielder, it's, it's going to be really risky to, like, swap to your, you know, swap to your shielder to put up your shield. But, like, as long as you do, you don't, you know, get unlucky. Or, like, as long as you're careful, I guess. I think it should be fine. Insignificant um, past. If you if you don't have any uh, what's it called team wide healer, well, I mean, I guess there's always Barbara, right? <laughs> now you have a reason to raise Barbara. Unfortunately, Barbara's only like team wide healing is um her burst. And number one, she doesn't she doesn't generate any particles. Well, Farina does generate particles, but she doesn't generate that many particles. Uh, so Farina can't exactly help out um, Barbara that much with particles and er and her energy. Okay. Oh, nice. Another one. Solidify. Um, but yeah, like the the Novelet sort of uh, Novelet basically makes it brain dead easy to f take uh, to to maximize Farina's um like her her buff thing because all i know is that farina drains the team's bang. hp you can choose to make her heal but i'm willing to bet that her healing isn't exactly going to be cool actual world. healing it's probably going to be more like um who's, who's a good example like like you know like xing Cho's for example right like nobody really uses xing Cho as a healer But he does heal, so it's sort. Of, it's. I get the feeling that he's gonna. She's gonna be like that. Like her, her ability to heal is just gonna be like a, a convenience, just a convenient thing to have. Possible. RJ, have so much to do tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sorry, Abby. I I saw your message like five minutes ago, <laughs> but I just decided to like um, work on like some of the earlier messages. But yeah, good to see you guys again. What's up, Nashity? Chokushu. Hey, good to see you guys. Shinrin, what's up, man? 
Sahil. Uh, yo, what's up, Sahil? I never thought I would play Noel in the current Genshin meta, but here I am building Noel. <laughs> you know, if... So, Farina's HP drain's gonna be um, team-wide, right? And, like, so a lot of people sort of don't use Noel because, so, she doesn't heal that much. But, like, if you total all of it, because, like, every time you do a normal attack on her, right, like, you heal the whole team, which is not, like, it's not a lot, like, for just each character, but it's a lot overall. And in some way, you could say that Noel heals too much, and, like, nobody really needs that much healing. And for a very long time, nobody's needed that much healing. And not, not just Noel's healing, but basically, you know, people have sort of just completely ignored, um healers in general and just have had them as a nice like convenient thing or like just uh just to make things feel more comfy instead of like an actual requirement um and th plus the fact that noelle's a four star but at c6 she does get really like, quite good right and like if you have like a really good team and build for her then she can actually like just take care of end game like no problem she obviously like her damage healing isn't as high as like i don't know uh like some other high end uh, dps but like she's really safe like you you have a shielder uh, a team wide healer <laughs> and a dps all in one so like what what more could you want right also, wait, somebody was asking, who, who, what was his name again earlier? Um, uh, 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 Dandelion. I don't know if you're still in, in chat, Dandelion. Um, if you're still in chat, you said you don't have a team-wide healer. There's, there you go. Raise your Noel, man. <laughs> Time to raise Noel, man. Um, if you don't have C6 Noel... She's not going to do as much damage as, like, if you had her a C6. But if you do, yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you have a gene, though. Yeah, if you have a gene. Like, you, you did say you don't have a team-wide healer. So I'm assuming that you don't have a gene. But if you do have a gene, or even a Chi-Chi, right? Like, even a Chi-Chi. Th that would be fine, yeah. Because, like... Chi Chi, okay, I guess like you can kind of make her deal damage, but then he's not gonna do that much damage. But then you could just you could also just choose to make her uh, to make Chi Chi, you know, like build her as a healer, and then like get your dam like your she's not gonna do damage, but at the same time she's gonna make Farina buff your team more that way. Right. Well, of course, that depends on like how much she like she actually heals, right? Depending on like how like how much attack because her uh, healing is based on attack and like how much attack you have on her, what kind of weapon you have on her. Um, but yeah, uh, details, details. I think C six Noel is a must to be be able to compete uh, with other teams. Yeah, yeah, like, without C6, Noelle's sort of just any other 4-star, right? Like, um, she'd be like, like a Hazo. Yeah, yeah, a really safe Hazo, though. Really safe Hazo, but, like, just like any other, you know, just like a Hazo, right? Like, Hazo's a DPS, but, like, because he's a 4-star, he has 4-star stats, 4-star multipliers and stuff. So, it's not a very good DPS, but, like, with C6, she's actually, like, in-game material. Of, co of course, again, you know, as long as you have a really good build with her. DPS Barbara, let's go. <laughs> Wait, hmm, DPS Barbara. Maybe? I mean, like, you get a lot of damage percent, I'm assuming. Right? You, 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 get, you get damage percent from Farina, right? My friend is trying to summon Baiju by coughing a lot. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay. He's not even out. I mean, like, his rerun's not even out yet, and you're already making fun of him, lol. <laughs> um, okay, I think... Am I done? Yeah, I'm done on this account. 
Alright, be right back guys, just switching accounts. <laughs> Let him drink holy water. <laughs> Actually, I'm on my 50-50, so I should just let me Hoyo decide if I should use Farina or my Nivillet or not. <laughs> well, Hoyo certainly is going to make the decision for you, man. Barbara could be really good, but unfortunately her uh, cooldown CD cooldown is so low. You mean long, right? Wait. Are you talking about her skill cooldown? I got my first Barbara from the mail. Anyone OG here to remember that? Oh, I Pepperidge Farm remembers, man. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. But yeah, you know, I was really surprised. Like, okay, I was, I, I knew about like the free Barbara at AR20. Because like it was, you know, it was like, I think it was here. Yeah, like, it was actually here, and then it really, the game really made sure that you knew about it. So I, like, rushed to, like, AR-20. Well, maybe not rushed, because, like, I, I had no idea what I was doing at the time, really. But I sort of just, like, played the game, like, hoping that I would reach AR-20 soon. And then I did, and then, okay, I got her, sure. And then, like, a few days, I think, like, or a week later... I got another one in the mail, and I think... I, I don't remember what that one is about. I think it was, like, some kind... Like, Genshin uh, just gave her away for free or something. Like, because they um, they achieved something really cool. Hey, what's up, Shuri? How you doing, man? That wet status is too sus slow. Man. <laughs> well, people have sort of laid off of, uh, on making that joke. People still do <laughs> make that joke. But, yep. Super early days of Genshin. Cause you can sort of see that joke like in every corner. Do you think it's a sign that Baiju is running with Farina? Is he a support for Farina? Um... I don't remember his kit very much, but from uh, for uh, as far as I remember, his healing is only single target, isn't it? Like from his burst, isn't it only single target? Like the character, the on-field character, and I sort of remember he has he has some healing from his skill, and that one is like party wide. I I don't know. Like I I really am not very sure at, at all about like wh whether that's true or not that's correct or not but that's what i remember because again uh i mentioned earlier for a very long time nobody's really cared about healing right so like when he came out okay went to his trial run tried to understand his kit just you know just so like i would know what it does but then like after that just immediately <laughs> immediately erased it immediately forgot what it was Cause like healer, who cares? And then here we are. Fast forward to twenty twenty, uh, November twenty twenty three. Farina is about to come out. We're in Fontaine. We're underwater, uh, and we're looking for a healer. <laughs> Healers back then were like, "Can you please put me in your team, please, pretty please?" And then you're like, "No, go away. We don't need you." And then here we are looking for healers. We're hiring healers. Any healers, please. Ta-da, Barbara is here. <laughs> it's stuck in my head. <laughs> Ta da! Yeah, kept on opening the event tab. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Man, that's. 
I do remember that. Every time you opened the event tab, like this thing, oops, you just keep hearing ta da! Yo, I'm gonna get you. Uh, no, what? Okay. Oh. Okay, I had two dailies here. But hey, because of this thing. No siree, don't need to do you anymore. Oh, the sun's out. When did that happen? Bennett, Kuki, Yao Yao, Diona are like best four star healers in the game. That even you'd don't have five star healers your account is good to go yeah and for like i'm so okay that's kooky and bennett are sort of like and diona well i have surprisingly enough i haven't used diona in like a really long time now especially because like for a very long time like hoyo seems to have been trying very hard to make cryo teams uh, and characters uh, like obsolete i, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what they have against cryo like now they're giving us cryo catalyst characters but like cryo teams just don't s just still don't seem to be like i don't know just like a lot of the enemies like none of the enemies sort of um oh why did i come here electro electro Um, Bennett and Kuki, like, they're really good single target healers, but they don't have, like, I don't think they can keep up with, especially, like, maybe a healing build Bennett, but you're gonna have to keep switching, like, you're gonna have to go with a team that allows you to just freely switch between your characters, so you could, like, try and keep up and, you know, keep up with healing everybody, but if you're running, like, a... a like a hyper carry team that's gonna be really hard to keep everybody healed uh even if you build bennett with a healer build kuki in like most people nowadays are building kuki for em and not as a healer anymore so it's gonna be really hard to like a lot to build kuki to still heal well and at the same time still have a lot of em so Kuki is going to be really... Like, you're going to have to use, like, another healer on top of Kuki. And that's why I said, like, I feel like, um... While she is really strong, she's sort of, um... She's, she, like, her... Farina's... Like, benefits... They're not just, like, straight-up benefits, right? Like, they're really conditional. You have to, like, make certain trade-offs... What shall we do? His elemental skill is one tap heal all. Uh, Baiju's? Not sure about the ult. I haven't used them in a while. Wow, you actually have them, huh? <laughs> it did, didn't even cross my mind to pull for Baiju, man. You stream at quite the weird time. Yeah, I know. Like, I had quite the few technical issues like on my phone like right after work i had like phone technical issues i had to deal with that uh and it was like actual like work stuff and not just like you know not just like random like for fun stuff because like uh in the past few years my phone has been really really like uh important to me for work and so I had to spend like a bunch of time fixing it. Thankfully, I found a way to fix it. Uh, and my, my, another problem too is like that phone is like, it's a really cheap phone. Like it's not super old. It's like two-ish years old, but it's like, it's a re it was a really cheap phone from like even when it was new. So two year, a two, two year old $100 phone, not the best experience ever. But then, hey, it works. So why would I, you know, like, why would I buy a new one? 
right? It still works. That would be I would just be contrib contributing more e waste to the world if like I actually went and and bought like a new phone just because I think like oh this is a really slow phone. No, it still works. I'm still using it. Um, <laughs> also, I also almost started the stream with audio issues. Like I didn't even realize I had audio issues, and uh, thankfully I noticed like earlier. Wait, why am I not hearing the music? Cause like I wait, where's the music? Just paused again. Okay. Um. All right. So thankfully, right before I click that start stream button, I noticed that I couldn't hear the 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 system audio, and I had to restart the computer a few times. But then I figured out what the problem was. Uh. Yeah. So after work took me a while. <laughs> Even if it is a healer to himself, Barbara is the only four-star burst animation Both with a five-star burst animation. Yeah, you're right, actually. That that's true, actually. Yeah, Barbara is the only four-star with an with a burst animation. Utah words of advice: There's there's fun in funerals, so twenty percent discount on coffins. What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Why did that take me so long to get that? Oh, that almost flew by my head. <laughs> there is fun in funeral. There is fun in funeral. But where are those who share? Cryo holding the second worst element spot in one of the one of the videos I saw. Honestly, kind of agree. It, in the current state of the game. Well, maybe not like okay. So I, so I think like maybe if you just think about the elements, the element itself. Yeah, like the fact that it was basically like almost completely excluded from um, from Dendro. Like you know, with, with um, what, what are the what are the Dendro teams again that have Cryo? Like I, I keep forgetting their names because like I never really use them. Um, but like. There is a really uh, an indirect way that they sort of that they sort of make. Wait, I haven't. What? Oh, for real? Wait, the sealies are still in there. Yep, they're still in there. Okay. Um, alright. I guess I missed them. <laughs> but I somehow... 100% of this part of the map. Okay. That was really distracting. Also, this rain is very distracting. What? Why did he fly off? I think the rain's just gonna kill these guys. <laughs> yep. The rain is, uh. Working, man. It's working for me. Oh no, the thing ran out. Go, thank you. This idea might be crazy, but what about using Farina just for her burst? We won't be losing our character's HP. Of course, we'll be losing out on her skill damage. No, it's already very strong. Um, I mean, yeah, but like, that would, wouldn't that be just tantamount to replacing her with just Nilu, and like never using Nilu's skill? 
and just you know using Neil as a burst support. Like I, I get the feeling that I, I'm, I get the feeling that Farina isn't exactly going to be known for her burst damage. You, you know what I mean? Like because she has like such as this, this convoluted and like really unique thing about her skill, like the whole HP drain. I get the feeling that most of her kit is going to be very just. It's just there. <laughs> It's not going to be anything special. All right, so I get the feeling that we're not going to get like any good damage from her burst. Like, it did say it does damage, sure. But I get the feeling that it's not going to be anything special. So you might as well, like, you, like, if you want a Hydro, like, I guess, uh, burst, DP burst damage, uh, damage here, then, yeah, like, just go Nilu or something. Or even Ayato. And just don't, go on the field with them. Hyper fridge. Oh, that's it. Thank you. Hate the camera movement with Barbara's burst animation, though. Um, what's wrong with it? I mean, I'm, I haven't... For real, I haven't used her since, like, you know, since ancient Rome was a thing. Is another man's gem. So I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what the camera movement looks like. Brain plus dendro equals chaos and destruction. <laughs> I love rain and electro. Uh rain and electro. Yeah, that's another thing though. Unfortunately, electro doesn't do a lot a lot of damage. I mean, they did kind of buff it, like, a really long time ago, but, I mean, no. <laughs> Nobody really runs Electro thinking, oh, I'm going to Electro charge enemies to death. Oh, we can use Electro charge to beat these guys. No, like, nobody thinks about that. I love Rain and Electro burst damage up to 35% buff. Yeah, but like, um, okay, I, I, I don't know exactly how it works, but from what I've heard from people, her buff is according to her HP drain. That, that's what I'm hearing for people. Well, if not the HP drain, then like, so, okay, he, here's a thing too. If you, if you think about it. Nervillet has a way to drain his own HP and to heal himself. Rise Lee is the same. So I'm assuming that she's going to have something to do with, like, I don't know, changing the HP. Yeah, oh, oh, another one is, um, what, what's this artifact set called? Mari Chose? Yes. Yeah, yeah, there it is, right? Uh, every time your HP increases or decreases. So I'm guessing that Farina's, uh, like, buff thing is going to be based on, like, how much you can... Your HP changes. And I don't think it's going to be just a straight-up buff. Otherwise, like, why would they introduce, you know, why would they introduce the HP drain slash healing thing on, on in her kit? Like... It's like Risley, really weird. Like it was just like it was just there. Like it didn't do anything. Does his did his HP drain like benefit him at all, or like his healing was just there? Okay, his healing was sort of like a way to solve the problem that he himself has. <laughs> right, like he he has a problem with his kit. He he sort of just self dies. <laughs> And at the same time, part of his kit also fixes that. I I don't remember if he if there was any benefit at all to like him, basically killing himself. I think that dandelion means uh, Freena burst buff. Uh, Freena burst buff, not the burst damage. 
Oh, oh, right, right. Um, I miss the OG five stars, which are universal or which are, are for universal use. OG five stars. Um, who are you referring to? Like Jean, Jean, Mona. Are you are you talking about them? This realm is. Oh, guess I don't need that. We know with Fontaine characters will make her stacks much more faster to be maxed out. Yeah, because like they already have like self, um, like self augmenting, uh, abilities, or like they're part of their kit. If you ever, he gets uh, he gets stacks from his passive and his HP changes. If I remember correctly, oh okay. Well, well what does his passive do? Up to thirty percent attack buff. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so I, at least it does something. Yeah, Farina, artifact set that gives free crit will be universal because of Farina. Yes. That's true. That's true. I, um, from the moment that somebody in chat said that she has a way to drain HP, I immediately thought, well, if she has a way to drain HP, wouldn't that, wouldn't they also give her the ability to, think, like, raise HP or, like, heal? Because, like, I immediately thought of, like, this really, I immediately, okay, because, like, when, when I first saw these two artifact sets, I immediately thought, okay, that like one of these is definitely gonna have something to do with the Hydra Archon, <laughs> and like, okay, and then we got Nivellet, and we were like, oh, this is perfect for Nivellet, right? But then, okay, if we go to Sumeru, the artifact domain here. So while typically you'd think, okay, well, this is for Nahida. Because, like, skill hits, dendro, resistance go down, right? But then, like, a lot of other characters also could just use this. Oh, it's skill and burst, too. Right? So, basically, and anybody who has, like, a persisting... Uh, just a ticking... Um, a persisting hitting burst or skill. Like, this would just work for anybody. It doesn't even have to be dendro. And... Like, as long as you have somebody with this on the team, you could just put pretty much anything on Nahida, including this thing. And then that sort of tells me that, oh, okay, I guess we could use that on Nahida as well. Now, in Inazuma, it was a little, it was a bit of a different story, because the other set, while the two-piece can be used on Trogun, like, just because, like, of how good this is on her, everybody sort of just doesn't consider this a, an option for Shogun because of just how good this is on Shogun. Boats are made for transferring and like, I don't know, like uh, Liyue and, and Monstat, I, I sort of never really count so them into like concepts. looking at a pattern for what characters might be like, what artifacts this might be like, etc. Because like they, they were already out when the game came out. Osmanthus wine tastes the so same as I it's remember. like... It's hard to see a pattern from from them. Share the memory. Hmm. Ah, yes. Weekly bosses. I was talking about the OG five star weapons that can be used by any characters. Ah, yeah, you're right. Like um, um. In fact, I actually got one of them just recently on my main account from the standard banner. Uh, Skyward Harp. Yeah, Skyward Harp. Jade Spear. Gravestone. I mean, like, they're still there. It's not like those ga those weapons are gone, right? They're still there. Still in the game. But they've sort of been... Like, they're... I wouldn't say irrelevant. 
but they've sort of they they're like far from optimal at this point and you'd need to make up for like because hp hp like enemy hps have been going up and then at some point it does seem to have stopped and now they seem to have just decided to like stop raising enemy hp and they've decided to just make them hit harder and i noticed that these they kept so there are these like outliers that uh, enemy outliers that have like really have hyper hyper high hp you know like the 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 two legends like whatever their names are and that one random like uh enemy in like the new region in the 4.1 region um that also hits really hard but then like other than them everything else sort of just has about the same amount of hp as as most other enemies uh from uh from even 3.8 Right? Like I, I guess the new, the first enemies that were like really tanky and started to hit really hard were those consecrated beasts, and they were really annoying. Um, they were annoying because like they hit hard, but like they were more annoying because like they couldn't be crowd controlled. Their attack patterns were like basically random, and you couldn't get them to do what you wanted them to do. And that 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 what that's really the most annoying part about them, is you just couldn't crowd control them. You couldn't get them to do what you wanted them to do. Like there was little to no way to manipulate their AI to to position them. And their attack patterns were really random. And so they those types of enemies did have really high HP, but like it wasn't like higher than like any other um, enemy that we had at the time. So it wasn't anything special. And now they've decided to just make enemies hit harder. Which is actually kind of nice, I think. I, I think it's really nice that they've decided... Because, okay. Uh, when when they gave us Zhongli... Everybody sort of f just forgot damage. <laughs> right? Like, they just forgot that... Oh, damage exists? We can actually take damage in this game? Right? And... They gave us enemies that sort of negated that. Well, at least tried to negate that. Uh, which were the Rift Hounds, right? With their um, corrosion thing. And it was kind of nice, right? Especially at the point where... Okay, so at some point, they did... They started to make shields a little less um, viable by raising enemy hp right because like staying in your bubble means that you're not you're going to do less damage than if you just replace it with somebody who helps the team do more damage and they did that pretty well they succeeded that uh, they, they succeeded in that quite well right because fewer and fewer people sort of talked about um, a Zhongli rerun. Like, Zhongli rerun was still like, you know, people would still talk about it, but like people would be like, no, you don't really need him. Like, he makes the game comfortable, right? Like, pe but people weren't talking about Zhongli the way that they used to. Uh, and then here they are, you know, two, three years into the game. People have sort of, well, for a very long time now, sort of forgot about just bringing a healer. Like, they would just bring a healer, but they don't have to be the the healer, right? They don't have to be a really special healer. They, they could just be, like, some healer. And I think it's really nice that they've started to make enemies hit really hard. So at least, like, we are reminded that we need another part of the game, which is healing. I'm new to your channel. It's pretty nice here. I'll come here more often. Good night and bye.
a morning class tomorrow. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Hey, thanks for stopping by to hang out with us a little bit, Dandelion. Take care, man. Hey, you can use Merit to say Hunter artifacts and any DPS that involves normal charge attacks as long as you have Farina in the team, which makes that set universal in her in uh, with her in the team. Yeah, like I I, I like mentioned that like over and over again and like mo throughout multiple streams i i kept saying that if she has a way to drain hp and even if he, she doesn't have a heal right like you just you could just bring a healer and then like that that would instantly make this artifact set universal and that uh this is already really good and like i even compared this art this artifact domain to the blizzard set domain unfortunately again like because of cryo's sort of uh uh in air quotes downfall like while this artifact set is still really good it's not as valuable as it used to because well cryo's uh, cryo's cryo <laughs> right like the the downfall of like freeze teams because of the types of enemies we've been getting for a good long while now but like if you think about it like look at this right Look at what this does. You just use your skill instantly, 30% normal charge attack damage for 15 seconds. The, in, the whole rotation. The entire rotation. And you already have, like, basically free hydro damage. You have cryo damage. You have 40% crit rate. Right? So, like, uh, and again, it's, it is conditional. But it, the condition isn't that hard to, you know. It, it, well, this one is more conditional. And I, I would compare this to, like, Mario Chose, which is, like, the condition is, like, a little harder to meet. You actually have to fight freezable enemies. With Mario Chose, you have to find a way to, like, change, like, lower and raise your HP. Uh, which is, like, not very easy, especially if you don't have any of the self-HP augmenting new characters. And, and, like, the other set in the domain is, like, like very easy <laughs> to to fill the condition for. Like, very few characters cannot fulfill the conditions for. Uh, what does pre-installing do? Um, it just means that you can download the uh, files that are needed to do the update, the 4.2 update, um, early. Right, so that when the update does release, like, you know, in 28 hours, yes, in 28 hours from now, when the version update, yeah, I'm oh, sorry, not the version update, um, when the maintenance break starts for the 4.2 version update, you don't, your computer won't have to download anything anymore. Like, it won't have to download any of the new files, it'll just install the files that you already downloaded when you did the pre-install thing, and... Uh, it'll probably still have to download like um I don't know like eighty megabytes probably like a fifty to hundred megabytes but that's mostly to uh, well honestly I'm not sure but like it, like as soon as you log in but you, like through the launcher you won't have to download anything anymore it'll just straight up install the new game files and like delete the old ones um and the eternal the so I don't know how long you've been playing Genshin but if you've been playing for like since like the early days you will probably know about this but if not um so Hoyo introduced the pre-install thing because I think it was 1.1 yeah 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 so 1.1 like from 1.0 to 1.1 1.1 obviously the very fir very first version update of the game right um there was no pre-install function yet so basically as soon as the version sorry the maintenance break happens everyone like literally everyone pay, playing genshin is going to download the updates at the same time and that includes like, like everything like all the the new files that your your game needs so that it could run the new version update and that's a lot of traffic on on their servers so if they could like widen the uh bracket 
the time frame there you go they could widen the time frame that people could download the update stuff the the update files then they would have a less likelihood of a lot of people like causing a lot of traffic a lot of uh, a lot of download traffic on their servers and it was awful like <laughs> people were complaining that they couldn't update the game for like 24 hours like for like two days because of it and some people were even saying that oh because of this like i got busy for like a whole week so they couldn't even play 1.1 until the week after because because they couldn't update on the day of the the version or the the maintenance break because the download speed for everyone because again everyone was like downloading at the same time was really slow <laughs> it was awful but hey it's i mean it was awful at the time but like now that i think about it and it just i don't know it just seems like a a memory yeah it's just a memory something to look back onto And if they just put Primordial Jade Cutter with Farina's Weapon Manor, that would be awesome. Yeah, it's... Well... I mean, it would be weird, right? Because, like... But, you know, Baiju is there and, like, just Jade Cutter, random. Oh, you are you talking about, like, just removing Farina's Weapon from the banner? And then just replacing it with Jade Cutter? I think it would be good. Like, because, like, Jade Cutter is kind of good on her. Uh, it's not- I wouldn't- Hmm. Well, now that you think- I think about it. Crit rate, HP, I mean, like, I'm sure I'll probably be proven wrong. Like, somebody, like, you know, it's probably gonna end up not being, like, that good on her in the end. Yeah, I just remembered. The passive has HP. But, um, well... I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess here. I'm gonna assume. I'm just gonna guess. Farina is gonna be an HP scaler. Yeah, yeah. Farina is gonna be an HP scaler, similar to how Shogun. Obviously, obviously, you can't make a character scale off of ER, but in some ways, like she did, sort of, you know, require a lot of ER, like giving her the highest uh, energy. Uh, energy like requirement for the burst in the game ninety energy. Um, yeah, like energy recharge was sort of maybe not a requirement, but made her a lot better. So Shogun is the e Electro Archon. Electro was sort of the ER uh, element of the game. Dendro was sort of the EM element of the game. While Nahida doesn't fully scale off of EM. Like, she mostly scales off of EM, so you want to give her EM. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna take a wild guess here. I'll swing in the dark. Um, <laughs> swing in the dark uh, in a room full of vases. <laughs> that uh, she's gonna scale off of HP. At least, like, most of her personal damage is gonna scale off of HP. Yeah, I remember that incident. That's why it takes days to download an update. Uh, update day back in 1.1. <laughs> I played several mobile games with that issue. Dragonest, Dragonest World, TOF, Nino Kuni, to name a few. Waiting for the queue is a nightmare. Uh, did they? Did those games like resolve the? download the update download queue by like doing something you know something like what what hoyo did right what hoyo did with genshin they made it so that the game files are available like at least a few days before the update before update day you know in that way not everybody would be downloading at the same time because like i i do understand like that's not easy to do right because like um Especially with a, a game like the way that Hoyo operates, where like they're like, they're like 
on time. They're they're like they work like clockwork. They're never late. Well, almost never. <laughs> they're very very serious about keeping their timelines. And it's just constantly updating, right? Like I can't imagine being given a deadline. Oh, I now that I think about it, that's probably why like when you do when you when you um even after you pre-install all like the game files like before update day on a version update or during a version update obviously it installs the new files erases the old ones right that, that got replaced and stuff but when you open the game it does like the whole like right before it does the verify files thing like as soon as you click on the door or no not click on the door uh as soon as you click on like the screen like right you know that part of the screen where your username is sort of there like you the, the server select screen there you go you click on the middle and then it starts downloading a little bit a, a little file like a, a couple of more files like i don't know like um 100 megabytes 200 megabytes maybe i'm assuming that those are probably files that they had to update between when they made the pre-install available and like the last minute from before the update goes live i'm, I'm just guessing right because like i can't imagine being a developer and being told okay the update is on this day but you have to finish everything four days before because the the pre-install thing is gonna happen four days before three days before Right, like I, you know, even with with the with the already very tight timelines that they have, I can't imagine. That's that's got to be a nightmare. I mean, they got a lot of cash to you know to pay a lot of developers, but they're not always going to have that much cash. Like sooner or later, uh, cash is going to not be as plentiful. It's probably not gonna you know like. They're, they've been doing this for how long now with, with Honkai Impact? And they've... That game is still running. It, it's still... I don't know. Is it... How is Honkai Impact? <laughs> is it still good? I'm, I'm assuming it's still good. Three hundred ER for a motivated shogun. <laughs> Do you think my Nilu sword could work well with Serena? Um, well, I don't know about the EM stuff, but hey, if she actually does scale off of HP, well, okay. Again, I, I I'm running. Uh, I I don't have a lot of information about her, right? But they seem to really emphasize the whole like HP drain thing and like the buff thing. So, I don't know if her, like, if they're going to give her uh, personal damage scalings, that will matter. If they do, then the sword, like, uh, Nilu sword, the key, the key is probably going to be pretty good on her. But if they, okay, like, okay, okay, here's an example, like, Kuki Shinobu, for example. Right? She has a healing. Uh, she has healing and she has like the ability to have the just, you know, um, just the perpetual like personal damage like every f second or so. Right? And same thing with Zhongli Spiller. But we don't exactly rely on it to add to team DPS, right? Like, I don't know. They they could um they could have thought that oh well, she buffs the team a lot already. So we don't need her to do a lot more damage. Well, so far they, I, mm. well, I guess they have sort of done that with Zhongli. Yeah, they have sort of done that with Zhongli where they made it so that Zhongli doesn't do that much damage. But then like, if you really try very hard, you can actually still make him do good damage, but just not that. Not j just not that significant. At least you know, 2023. At my command, Venti is shall fall. sort of similar, but then again, well, he was a very early on character, 
So it's very hard to make him still relevant, like DPS wise. Mm, but then, like, they they didn't do that with Raiden Shogun, right? Raiden Shogun was supposed to be unique and, and stuff uh, with her ER generation. Uh oh, no! I shouldn't have picked that up. I missed. I only got one then. Man, that's okay. That sucks. Well, whatever. Uh, and with Nahida, Nahida's thing is off field dendro application, but they still gave her good enough multipliers so that she's actually like really good. Like her personal damage is also still really good. So I'm. Good it rinse, wouldn't be. Cruel world. It wouldn't be too crazy to assume that Farina is going to deal good personal damage. But if, in case they don't make her do good personal damage, then giving her the key wouldn't be, you know. It, it's. I don't know. <laughs> it, it would be the same as like trying to buff Zhongli's pillar damage. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't mind having my pillar damage improve, you know, buff though, right? Isn't pillar damage important? Right, guys? Yeah, pillar damage is important. RJ 2023. <laughs> Ryan Shogun unique. Neat. Uh, unique. Wrong. Neat. Yes. <laughs> I mean, she was unique at the time. She was unique at the time. Yeah, but that was like, what, two years ago? <laughs> so she was unique. I already left them. Dragon S World killed itself in its first month. First month? What? Oh, wait. What's the difference between Dragon S World? Is, is that like a new game? Or is that like... Did they change the name of the game? Or is that still like the OG Dragon S? I never played Dragon S. But um, I think I really... I would have enjoyed it a lot if I actually played it. Because like, um, when you know, back then, when it was the thing. When it was the game. A lot of my friends played it. Yeah. I, unfortunately, I just didn't have a good enough PC for it. Didn't have a good enough PC for it. Um, yeah. And then, like, um, what was my other problem with it again? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, it was, like, the game file was big <laughs> for the time. Really big. And me with my 512 kilobyte kbps download speed, DSL, it, it wasn't happening. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen for me, man. And that's, that's K, like lowercase K, right? Like kilobit, which means it would have been downloading at 100, no, less than 100, less than 100? around 100 uh, kilobytes per second Every so yeah dragon nest not happening at least for me at the time also didn't have enough uh, enough money to just you know to um to just grind at internet cafes at the time no that wasn't gonna happen um i think those are all my weeklies yeah okay that's it 
Alright, let's swap accounts. F sunk like Hoyo. <laughs> like Hoyo forgot Geo. Nino Kuni servers are full of farming bots. Oh, that's what happened with Nino Kuni. A lot of people kept talking about Nino Kuni for a while. Because of, uh, of cryptocurrency. Ah. Oh. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Like when you ha when you involve real life money with video games is people sort of commercialize it people find a way to just play the game because they want to make money you know sort of like um oh like sort of like a uh, youtube right like because you like there's real money involved People nowadays just, uh, yeah, man. Especially with with the the well, maybe not the rise, but like especially like when when AI got better, right? Like for and not even just Chat GPT, it's been going on for a while, for like a few years already, several years already. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there are like a bunch of YouTube channels, and not not just recently. Again, again, just it's been going on for like maybe maybe two or three years i think at this point and again it's not just because of chat gpt it's it's just like ai in general like even from before chat gpt before from before bard before any of the this like mainstream ai stuff there is already like machine learning stuff going on from like a few years ago that people took advantage of it was certainly a lot more work back then not nowadays like with the with these like mainstream like ready to use ai ais it's just gotten a lot easier so okay what what am i talking about here's an example so i i don't think anyone can prove this but some uh some creators in the scientific um i guess field of youtube like you know some cre some science creators on youtube have mentioned at least uh, once the, this this youtube channel called riddle like r i d d d l e that the way that they make videos seems to be just very consistent, like the way that they, the, how frequently they upload. And the thumbnails just seem to be. Boats are made for transferring like, commodities back and forth. They're very consistent, is, is what I'm trying to say. Like the sum, the thumbnails are like basically the same. Like it's not the same thumbnail, but like it seems to be to have been made like in the same exact way every single time. Um, and the type like okay, I re I I was subscribed to that channel for a while, and then like I started to watch like I consistently watched for like a few days, and then I realized this is sort of the same, just regurgitated uh, regurgitated stuff. It's telling me stuff, but it, at the same time, it's not telling me anything. Like, if that makes sense. It's just talking and talking, but I feel like it's not telling me anything. And it just seems to be, like, doing that over and over and over again. And some people in the science uh, YouTube community uh, have mentioned that riddle like is like some ai just just ai some ai is just running that channel and while nobody can prove it i mean it's like really hard not to see sorry it's really hard not to think that and nowadays okay we have all this mainstream like ready to use ai tools um and we have okay good example very prevalent example 
a lot of these like um what the oh uh a lot of these um youtube channels that just summarize either movies or tv shows or anime and they summarize them and then just basically some of them are like really obvious that they're like ai voices and it's not not the voice but like the way that they speak and sometimes even like the tone if not the tone then like the way the script was written like they probably um didn't notice that there was something weird with the way that it was written and even the video seems to I, like i don't know even the video doesn't it like it's hard to explain like you can sort of just tell that it just there's certain parts of the video that just don't seem to make sense like it doesn't make sense like there'll be like a clay like it just seems to be like really i guess generic is the best way to put it Dragoness world is open world compared to dungeon type Dragoness um, C and mobile. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, I do remember Dragoness, like OG Dragoness being... Um, imagine Genshin without the open world, but like just all domains and stuff. Stabilize. Oh, hey, we never talked about like um the quick challenge. What, what was that like? It was a quality of life update uh, that was going to be is going to be included in 4.2. There's this quality of life update called Quick Challenge where you don't even need to like explore the part of that map of, of those maps and you can already do the weekly boss the weekly bosses like those certain weekly bosses um, apparently the uh, Boreas and Devalin apparently aren't included in these. No touching. The wind knows. For Rex Lapis. But um from even before 2.0, I remember be even before 2.0, I started thinking why didn't Hoyo just make it so that I don't need to teleport? Let's say, okay, if I want to do, if I want to do this this domain, why did they have to make it so that I have to teleport there before I select which, you know, what select my team, select this, etc. Why didn't they just make it so that I could just click that and then start the domain? Like it would have, it would be one less time, like load, like one less thing to load, and uh, re re no, unload and reload for my PC. Like it would save my PC a lot of, you know, a lot of effort in the very long run, right? Like in the ver in the long term, my my, um, what's it called? My poor hard disk. If, if I was running the game off of a hard disk, my poor hard disk wouldn't have to use its motors to have to like scan through like all the all the files uh, of the where those files are. Like for example, the the 3D assets, the the textures of that location of the the, the map in that location, the the domain structure itself, etc. It would just unload everything of where I am now. And it would just load in the inside of the domain, right? Like one less thing to do for the computer. But then no, okay. And I guess I sort of do understand. Like it would the game would basically lose like a big chunk of its open worldness. Like it, it just wouldn't feel as open world as it currently does if they did that, and it would be. Like, there would be very little difference between open world, like, Genshin versus 
just another browser game gotcha game like browser gotcha game right because like some uh, browser gotcha games they're some of them are like 2d and stuff and you sort of just go from left to right you speak to different npcs and stuff but then like most of the important stuff that you have to do are sort of just like menus across the screen and you sort of you just click here and then like okay you you from a list of stuff you select okay which domain you want to do which boss you want to fight etc and then like if they i guess i understand that if they um did what i just described just now where i wouldn't i don't have to teleport to the domain to um to like to do that domain genshin would lose a lot of its uh a lot of what makes it open world and i guess i understand that but i don't know like they're 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 doing it <laughs> well kind of partially they're doing it partially i don't need to teleport to the tartalia domain because like i could i could just um like do the the what is it called quick challenge quick, quick fight I, I don't know it's just in here it's apparently like at least according to the footage they've shown it's just, it just seems to be like somewhere in here and then like you just immediately fight just from that menu He used to have DSL too. It was agonizing. Well, hey, it was that or dial up. <laughs> so D DSL wasn't too bad. That, dial up, or nothing. Tartalia after 4.2. This opportunity is hard to come by. I really mean it. Add Sorry, well, what do you mean? What opportunity? Thank you for Add Opportunity to fight? Oh, okay, okay. Because of the quick challenges. This opportunity is hard to come by. Oh, <laughs> wait. I, okay, that almost went completely over my head. I, <laughs> it took me a while to get that one. All right. <sighs> Oh man, that almost completely flew over my head. Alright, thankfully I read it like 16 times, and then I finally got it. <laughs> Born of ice and froth. One with nature. Oops. No touching. Time to get wind strike. I will have order. Solidified. Why is the hitbox on this thing so small? Like, wow. The hitbox is smaller than the model itself. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. This realm. Oops. If you ever I'm actually super happy that I decided to raise Yao Yao a while back because Yao Yao is a really good uh team wide healer Although like to be a really good team wide healer you do have to spend just a little bit not a lot of time but just a little bit of on field time on Yao Yao, sort of just like sprinting around and not really doing anything, but still, like, still really good. Uh, other than that, like, I am also really happy that I raised Jean. Unfortunately, I don't have 4VV, like, a DPS 4VV set for Jean. Like, none at all on any of my accounts. But I could, I don't know, I could probably make some compromises here and there. Just so I could get like 4vv, like re replace Kazuo or Venti or whoever my 4vv is on whatever team I'm about, I'm gonna be using. Just so I could get 4vv on and uh, you know, a healer. I am, however, a little um, <gasps> mm, okay. I know that's obviously it's not, it's far from her best sword i was actually worried for my third account i was i was worried that i because i don't have festering desire because like i've heard people prance on and on and on about how festering desire is the best four star for forina and i was worried that i don't have festering on this account because it's not you know it's not old enough to have festering this account didn't exist yet when the fest the event that that you really you know when festering was the event that gave us festering desire was then what was there oh at least i have this hmm but if i had this if i put this on farina then i won't have fab I, although i could just put fab on farina of this i think i think this would be yeah this would be a lot more energy recharge and and if my guess is correct that um that freena scales off of hp she won't care about the low base attack and then i could just put um oh boy iron sting back on kazua man okay this this is rough <laughs> this is not gonna be easy having to juggle around which weapons go where i do not have a lot of swords man I guess I could raise this and give this give this to Kuki. Or Kazwa. I don't know. Eh, whichever, right? Every journey has That could work. Uh, I could do that, yeah. I, I could do that. Got a strong box, that's it. Cause I'm the maiden beloved. She loves me. Uh, she loves me so much. I don't get a single VV. <laughs> what? You got a strong box that set. Wait, which, what's that? VV? Thankfully, I already, I already, um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
took my lumps. Yeah, I already took my lumps to get the VV set a long time ago. And yeah, I sort of don't really need it. Although, yeah, again, I still don't have a proper DPS VV set. Um, but yeah, still. At least, like, I already have the two EM VV sets that I, I need for my swirl characters. Uh, I am still, like, I, I certainly have not, um, completely given up or stopped trying to get a DPS VV set. I still do plan on, um, making my Kazwa into a sort of hybrid DPS EM Kazwa. Like, especially, like, for when the day comes that I finally get Jade Cutter. I only get Maidens Beloved every time. I can probably get, give Zhao a full Maidens Beloved with good stats just to lose. Um, oh, speaking of Maidens. Okay, so if Rina drains the, you know, the team's HP like team-wide, wouldn't that mean that we're going to need a lot of healing? Like, is, wouldn't, wouldn't Farina make, uh, Maiden's Beloved a bit more valuable than it is? I mean, granted, the difference isn't much. Like, it's currently not valuable at all. Like, who, every, no one wants it. Unless if it, if it's like, you, you just so happen to, like, while farming VV, you just so happen to get, like, a 50 CV Maiden's piece. Then sure, you're gonna keep it, <laughs> but other than that, like, no, nobody wants it, I guess. But wouldn't Farina's HP drain, if it's team-wide, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it make Maidens a bit more, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Desirable? Maybe for some healers? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Who's a... Oh man, sorry. Um, who's a team-wide healer that doesn't heal that much? Hmm. Wait, isn't Mika a healer? Mika's a healer, right? I mean, like, I, I didn't really take that... Uh, take that much uh, it didn't really put put in that much effort to try to remember Mika's kit at all like so, yeah I was like whatever mm, saw you kind of I guess but uh hmm maybe like she's a she her the first heal like as soon as you activate her burst that is a like instant like team wide heal I guess Noel, but you're certainly not gonna run maidens with Noel. <laughs> not when the the husk artifact set exists. Um, I can't imagine why you would put four four maidens on Yaya. She already heals so much. Um, ah, Dayona, pretty slow healing. Um, I don't know. Can't think of anybody else. Yeah, the only character I could think of that probably would want oh would would want a vv uh sorry not vv um four maidens is ca a catalyst support hey what's up happy good to see you man uh okay imagine this you have a catalyst support ca catalyst user support character on the team and you put prototype amber on them 
obviously prototype amber doesn't heal that much but it is a team-wide healing right and if you just if you also give that character or maidens, wouldn't that make prototype amber at least a little more value? Uh, sorry, not valuable. Um, viable. I mean, I don't know if it would it would be enough. Obviously, I don't know the figures. Also, what boss is this? Ah, uh, okay. I use him with Grizzly. I honestly don't remember what what Mika does. <laughs> What does Mika do again? Emptiness away. I saw someone using four piece maiden and Lisa with a prototype Amber to do Abyss. <laughs> it was Enviosity, what? <laughs> Poor maiden. I mean, yeah, okay, that's the type of thing that I was talking about, right? Like, if you just so happen to be to, to not have any healers or like okay uh, none of you don't have or let's say you only have one like proper team-wide healer or like the other ones like they're, you, they're not built or like you don't want to build them you don't want to use them or you don't have the proper team to use them in then okay just put lisa in there or some other cat of the support character Give him prototype amber, and then oh, it doesn't heal enough. Oh, well, okay. I guess I'll, I guess I'll give him four maidens to make it better. <laughs> physical buff plus healing. Wait, if it's a physical buff, Shinrin, why do you, why do you use him with Risley? <laughs> why? So I guess the healing, sure, but like. Nothing else, I guess. Let it be known that divinity is mine. Feeble human. Let's start the agenda. agenda Drops attack speed as well. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Attack speed, sure. That that makes sense. That that would certainly make Risley seem a lot more fun. Cuz like it's to dominate. I don't think it's you can't exactly quantify attack speed other than just saying like how much attack speed you're getting. But like you can't quantify like how much better Some it makes device. a character feel. Like for example, um Burn to oblivion. I For a really long time oh what the you are blocking my way, sir. For a really long time, like I, I was using Stay like oh, oh, oh I'm on the third account yeah. now, right? Like on this account it felt really like uh, there was a time when this neck count was kind of new like i just started to build it just started to have good characters um and there was a time when i had like eula was one of the very few characters that was actually built and leveled on this account but it felt really bad to use eula in the overworld and i had a lot more fun using eula when i got my c2 gene Cause like C2 gene gives attack speed, right? And I was all of a sudden having more fun using Eula again. Not possible. 
just because of the uh, the extra attack speed and move speed. It it makes a character feel a lot more fun, especially a, a char character that does normal attacks. Oops, messed up. Next on the agenda. <laughs> I'm messing up my timings. I can't. Uh, did you see that? That happened like two or three times in a row. That was embarrassing. I use four piece bless. Ah, right, right. C6 Yun Jin is good. Hmm. Okay, so now that I've done all my weekly stuff, now. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I should cook. Yeah, because like in in less than two, yeah, in just a little bit more than a day from now, um, 20, 27 hours from now. Yeah, twenty seven hours from now. Version four point two, um, uh, update will be live well maybe not live but like the the um maintenance break will be will begin you know what i should stop cooking yeah i'm i'm going to i'm going to stop cooking like i can easily reach ar50 even without doing the the cook 20 things uh thing every week Yeah, alright. So now that I'm done with all my weekly stuff, I can actually go ahead and take a look at um, a few character kits that I sort of want to look back onto. Okay, so C6 Yunjin. I, all I remember is C6 Yunjin wine makes her even better remember. at buffing. But I don't remember why. Um, normal attack speed increase with 12%. Okay, so it's an attack speed buff. Sure, sure. That's pretty good. Okay, so another character that I... For a few days, I think a week now, that's been bothering me. Is, what is this stacking thing that people are talking about on, on Nivellet? <laughs> I know, I, I looked at his kit, I spent like an hour probably just looking at his kit, reading over and over and over again. Um, but I don't, why don't I remember this whole stacking thing? Is it this thing? Three stacks. Uh, triggers. Yeah, prize, laser. Okay, a hydro crystallized reaction opponents, one stack of master calling. Oh, I guess it's this thing. Okay, I, okay, okay. I get it now, I get it now. It's this thing. Hmm. Man, okay, I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking, well, you don't really need to do anything special about this, right? Like, you just sort of have to uh have some some element on the enemy like or at least like uh on the team like maybe have some kind of um persistent off field like aoe ticking ability and then you could win a party member yeah it 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 doesn't have to be the villain himself it could just be anyone in the team uh how quickly can you get the stacks can it be, it doesn't say if there's like a minimum timer or like how quickly right after one another it can be triggered. So I'm assuming that it can, e it can even happen at the same time because it doesn't have that text. I don't know. Hope, hopefully. Two hydro, Freena, you essentially lose one stack. Really? What do you, so w why? Because it says a party member triggers vape, frozen, extra charge, or a hydro crystallized reaction on opponents. One stack will be granted for Nivellet for 30 seconds. So, if, okay, 
Does it? Do they? Do do the three have to be different elemental reactions? Vaporize, frozen, and electro charge. Yeah, it just it, it, like the text says any. Uh, well, basically every hydro reaction. Or sorry, it, at least well, uh, at least these reactions. At least these reactions. Rula is so strong that I have no regrets. Yeah, he is. He is. Honestly, I feel like I would have been happier pulling for Novillet and like skipping Farina. I know that Farina, Farina's kit is like unique to her because like she's the Archon. And like compared to Novillet, Novillet's like very straightforward. Like there's hardly anything to it like he is a dps he doesn't allow certain um or sorry he doesn't um enable certain team archetypes but like he's just there he, like you just you use his kit he does damage but he's so good at it though <laughs> i'm trying to let no i i did try out never let, like from the event the combat event and i so before that combat event there was a combat event like um a few weeks ago right and we got to try out nivellet and i think the fourth challenge the fourth day and then before that i was very unsure i was like well he seems to be really strong but then i'm like well i don't really need anyone stronger i can already deal with like everything in the game etc but then like what i didn't realize what, what was like how new his type of gameplay was it was like really new yes sure he is just a straightforward like on field dps sure but at the same time like just he sort of just enables himself like you just sort of have to just remember to like do a vv swirl every now and then uh, use uh, put up your shield etc or whatever other character abilities you have in your team and then like most of the time it's just him on the field and i didn't think that that would be fun for me and when I tried him out in the trial run, in the, the trial in the villet, in that event, I was like, whoa, this is fun. This is new. This is fun. And then, like, I, I really like, am sort of thinking, why did I, why didn't I think about it even more? Like, and pull for him before he went away. And then, like, although... I wouldn't say I regret it because like I still can still complete the game obviously but then like it just made it so that okay I missed that opportunity to like experience new gameplay that's all but yeah Farina's buff can compensate the lack of the last stock so I, I don't get it like okay so let's say for example so how does having two hydro on the team make the third stack impossible I, I don't quite get it like according to this wording it could be any team member what if someone triggers frozen someone triggers i don't know vaporize uh and let's see okay let's say um you you, you um that's the word i'm looking for okay you put hydro on the enemy okay you hydro swirl and then let's say you're running a freeze team okay so you freeze them and then let's say for example um you have a shielder yeah you have a shielder and then this zhongli's pillar pulses and then like because your enemy somehow got unfrozen or like your your cryo off field abilities um duration is up and then now you just have an enemy that has hydro on them and you your pillar crystallizes hydro so doesn't that mean that you got three of these already 
right like and that was just what who was that um so some cryo character the villet and then zhongli I want to try another villain? I know, I know, but try, trial one is trash. I mean, despite, yeah, I know that I know that the trial one wasn't that good, but like, despite it not being good, I still had actual fun because, like, despite him not being good, like, he was it, that trial novella was still killing enemies, man. You only have three elements in one team uh, in a team. What is hydro? You can only do two hydro reactions. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I okay. Okay. I, I get it now. <laughs> I get it now. I, I pictured it out and okay, I guess that's one. Hmm. That's a pretty big hang on. Thir how many how much is that? Thirty-five percent. Oh that's pretty big. You're losing thirty-five percent. Is this its own multiplier or is this like a damage percent multiplier? If cause if it is, then yeah, certainly. Farina's buff will make up for it by a lot it'll make up for it by a lot you're losing 35 but gaining up to 75 that's pretty good let's just freeze and hydro crystallize hey RJ what's up yo nothing much man I was just um, looking around some character kits before yeah yeah after doing all my weeklies uh i quit genshin feels good oh really how long have you how long have you not logged in i would imagine that it's it's probably it probably especially if you've been real busy recently i imagine it would probably feel like getting a weight lifted off of you because you don't, especially after some time, like when, when you get used to it, when you get used to not logging in, not doing your dailies, and not being af anxious about not doing your dailies, or not being anxious that you're, um, uh, let's say, uh, your um, daily commissions weren't done, your resin is capped, right? Like after some time, you get used to that. When you do get used to it, it probably feels like a, a weight has been lifted. Like you're finally free of these chores that you have to do every day. That's why see one villa is good. Enables him to uh, run double hydro because he gets one stack automatically in his passive. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. That's, um, hang on. Really? One stack, passive. Ah, I see. Okay, that's pretty good. Yep, yep, that's pretty good. Wow, I can't imagine. How much... How much more powerful would that be, right? Like... Because, like, Farina already gives you so much damage percent. <gasps> wait, what? Wait, imagine this. Okay, so you already have so much damage percent, right? You, you go with an HP HP crit build. Wow, that would be awesome. Maybe one month. Oh, hey, nice, nice. Congratulations, Flashy. RJ imagining. <laughs> right? I mean, like, I, okay. So, because I'm... If it's... If the... If Farina's damage buff... I'm going to assume that's a damage percent buff. Then, 
wouldn't that mean that you're way way past the point of diminishing returns because like you have so much damage per set right you have one from from uh Neville, it's passive you have one from Freena's burst um right so you already have so much damage percent where are those who share the memory then having more a bigger number to multiply that with would just make it bigger Let's see what enables hydro resonance. Um, and guess what? Oh, it scales off of, which is hydro resonance increases. Wow, that is. Man. You're really making me think, huh? RJ, you should go to sleep. Yeah, I will, actually. <laughs> I will, I will. I was just uh, I just wanted to look at Nivellet's kit because like a few people have already uh, I've heard a few people already mention that oh N Nivellet and Farina can't get a third stack and like w what is this stacking mechanic why don't I remember any stacking mechanic and then I yeah now that I now I remember okay well anyway hmm man you are really making me think really hard on like Nivella C1 and Farina man man I can't imagine like it could just it could literally be just Farina and Nivella in the team like you would just swap to Farina to put the things down to put his put her skill down burst swap back to Nivella and that's it that could just be literally them or you could just have like one random oh, team wide healer. The same as I RJ's tempted. I mean, like, who wouldn't be? <laughs> that is so much power. Like, you could, you could, it's okay. You know how like speedrunners have to like do these like insane, um, like setups slash having to do like to have like godly timing and a lot of luck to do like these incredible speedruns. I think that team could just do it and like unga bunga an unga bunga speed run possibly the strongest duo in the entire Genshin I like it's very possible so you and Avila and Farina right it's very very possible you can try tomorrow if you want oh thank you I appreciate the offer happy I'll probably log in like whenever I have time Sure, thank you, thank you, man. I'll give it a try. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it. Um, pretty late. I didn't really mean for the stream to be uh, long at all. Like, wow, you we actually just barely passed the two hour mark. Yeah, I, I didn't really have anything to do. I mean, like, it's it's the end of a version update, right? Just a few days remaining before the next version update. So, not even a battle pass, no events, obviously. Um, I guess, oh, I guess one thing that we haven't talked about is the banner. I, well, I mean, there really isn't much to talk about the banner. It's a good banner. That's a team. Well, no, no, never mind. <laughs> it's not a team. Okay, uh, cause like, yeah, Beidou, sure. But, um... So, oh man, Charlotte, huh? <laughs> really not sure about Charlotte. She's a healer, right? But then... Uh, okay, I guess I don't know how her heal works just yet. So, like, may, I, I'll, I'll withhold judgment for now. I'm not hopeful at all. Because, like, look at the recent all the recent four stars that we've gotten and I'm, I'm not hopeful for her but if she does uh heal a lot and like if it's team wide i think that she would go kind of well with freena creamy weapon manner <laughs> creamy yep yep certainly a weapon manner to behold of uh Kali, not exactly a four star worth well, you know what? Actually, I take I take it back. Did did I say good a few minutes ago? I don't. I I think I did, and I retract that. It's it's a banner. <laughs> it's not 
It's not terrible. Beidou is pretty good to get constellations of. Kali's not exactly a, a, a Dendro character. You, you know, sorry, not exactly a four star that screams, get my constellations. Mm, Charlotte's new, though we hardly know anything about her. Mm, but yeah, it's it's a banner. Not much to talk about here. Weapon banner though. Anybody who's getting Farina and decided to go for her weapon. If you are an old player and you have R5 Festering Desire, please don't. <laughs> Just don't. Please don't. Unless if you're like a whale and don't care how much money you spend, even if you keep getting Baiju's weapon, sure. I wish you luck. But if you are not, um, if you are not a whale, then please just don't. I'll try for a weapon. Oh my god, <laughs> you will. Oh man, I I wish you luck, man. I really really hope you don't get Baiju's weapon. Um, yeah. Believing my luck. <laughs> I wish you luck, man. Yeah, good luck, man. Well, I guess, yeah, not much else to talk about the, the banners then. Anyway, um, so for those of you guys who need any help building your character's accounts, need any help making a decision which banners to pull for, feel free to join our Discord server. Links are in the description of all my videos, vods, and streams, and an pen message in YouTube chat. You can ping me over there. My name's Elvis Einstein. Uh, ask for my opinion. Ask for other people's opinion over there. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming by, hanging out, and being awesome people. Have a good day, good afternoon, good evening, and take care, everybody. Bye, guys. Yeah, good night, everybody. Or, well, good morning, I guess. Oh, no, it would be afternoon for, like, uh, our friends over on the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, but yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys.